Hi, Leo. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to do a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of Leo. We're going to see what's coming in Leo's love life. And I'm going to start with the Oracle of the Seven Energies deck. Let's see what's coming for Leo. Any jumpers here? Can't rush spirit. <laughs> And I'm sorry, Leo, by the way, that um, your reading is coming out so much later than everybody's. I'm trying to get through all the zodiac signs. And I do have like a lot of health issues. So I have to kind of um, work, uh, you know, make readings when the getting is good and I'm feeling good. And um, sometimes that's spread out. But Leo, what's coming for Leo? This is really getting shuffled good here. So we're going to part it in a minute. And there's one. Okay. Into me, I see card eight. Take a look. What else? Close encounters, card 10. Very pretty card. These are gorgeous cards I got on a trip to Maine. And then we have broken open. So, um, Leo, that's card 28. And so, Leo, you may have been recently just broken open by your love life. Um, you may have been feeling, you may feel like there's nothing left of you even. You might feel like you've really been through it. Um, but I feel like, Leo, you were broken open because some things needed to be released. And once these things are released, it's going to help you to see into you, okay? To see what it is you really want. To see how it is you really feel. To see um, that you may be deserved a lot better than you've allowed into your life over the years. Um, I feel like close encounters are saying that a couple of things. One, some of the Leos, um, it was a close encounter and you were broken open by it and you saw the light from the relationship and the things that happened during it and it really changed you. Um, but it was a close encounter because it prevent it could have prevented you from meeting the person that's going to be a great big love an amazing love for you, okay, at the bottom of the deck. It was close, but no cigar I'm getting. And it's just like you weren't meant to stay with the person that broke you open and the situation that broke you open in love. You just needed to crack open so you could see inside what needed healed. You know, there's a saying that says, um, if you want if you want to live, you must learn to die while you're still alive. And I never really knew what that meant until I went through some stuff in my own life and I was like, okay. Sometimes you have to leave people, leave places, leave things, leave things you love behind. Um, and it'll feel like you're dying. It hurts so bad. But once you do that, everything you ever wanted is waiting on the other side of fear, Leo. So remember that. And um, Moonology says here, don't let pride get in your way. And look at the lion is there for you, Leo. So I feel like it's saying that. Um, you may need to, um, some of you Leos may be letting pride um, cause an issue with a relationship. Or maybe some of you were broken up by a breakup by, in a relationship that you know you do want to salvage. Some of you, you know, and um, you're letting pride get in the way of having that close encounter, of having that talk, of trying to put yourself out there again because you're probably scared. And that's only for some. And so I feel for some of you that, that, weren't in an abusive relationship that want to salvage a relationship um don't let pride get in your way speak your heart you know um and, and even means you get rejected and it hurts at least you can know that you tried otherwise you just may never know let's take a look at what else moonology has to say here okay what do you need to release so and look at the butterfly leaving the cage like it's like what do you need to release and it's like it's almost like this is emerging from within you. You're seeing into yourself at the butterfly you could possibly be and getting ready to kind of spread your wings and fly. And what you maybe need to release, Leo, is the situation that broke you open, is the, the negativity surrounding that. Um, and some of you, though, you are going to be, yeah, look at that, work through your fears. It's all going to be okay, Leo. I know it's hard and I know it's scary. Um, 
it, but it's like, I feel like a lot of you just work through this. Some of you are in separation and you're going to be getting back together. Okay. I just want you to know that your commitment is being tested. Your close encounter was that you almost lost the relationship, but some things happen and you got to see inside yourself and it broke you open. But when you get back together, your commitment's been tested and you will have passed and you will be able to, um, have, I'm sorry, I had a hair in my mouth. Oh, I hate that. Um, you will be able to have a better relationship than you had in the past. And it's going to be so much more, more fulfilling and so much more grounded. Um, and it, it sucks that you had to go through the pain that you did to get there. But, um, but Leo, this is really going to be an amazing, great, big love. Look at that. Whether you're reconciling or have somebody new come in, um, it, it is going to be something amazing coming for Leo is because you've been broken open and you're different now and now you'll have different spirits going to kind of reward you for spreading those wings and being moving past your fears and taking this courage to stand up for yourself and what you felt you deserved. You practiced free will in your situation or somebody practiced free will and it broke you open. The memories maybe have been haunting you or it's been hard, but you're trying to work through your fears because you know in the end, Leo, that your soulmate awaits you on this journey and they're going to help you put things back together um, in a more stable way and you will have a little family, even those of you that aren't having children or anything like that. Look at this. Look at this, um, Leo. We have twin flames, soulmate, and family coming out all together in the same in the same kind of uh, formation that fell out. I'm trying to find the word. I'm lost for words for some reason. Um, but Leo, you have a twin flame soulmate connection in your life that you're going to have a family with. And if they're not here yet, they're about to be. You were broken open. It hurt. You bled and you probably pleaded for help and made wishes on stars. And, you know, um, and now, um, like I said, the close encounter is going to mean different things for different people watching this reading the close encounter that you could have ended up with somebody that was not right for you. And then you see that and you're thankful the close encounter that you thought your relationship that you really wanted was over, but it's not. And you see into yourself and get all this other stuff to heal, all this other stuff healed in the midst of bringing it back in. This is a really good reading, Leo. The energy is really, really good. And then you have your family, your soulmate and your twin flame going to be with you um, in the end of it all. Um, after a period of solitude for a lot of you Leos, this love is going to come in and it's going to be amazing. We're going to pull some, um, going to go ahead and pull some, uh, Morgan Greer here. Yeah. A lot of you things haven't been fair, Leo. They haven't been fair and balanced for you. And, and what you're going through, this eight of swords has kept you imprisoned like this butterfly in the cage. But it's time for you to release these bonds. It's time for you to open the cage, Leo. It's time for you to work past your fears and move on out of whatever makes you feel trapped. Because eight of swords says only your thoughts are the things that are really trapping you. Self-imposed imprisonment of one's own mind. It's your thoughts that are trapping you and your fear and pride and all this egoic energy. So it's time for Leo to release this egoic energy. And then you're going to come you're going to balance the scales. And after all this is over, the scales are really going to be balanced. I want to make sure that I am getting you guys all of the, the, uh, cards I used for everybody else here. Um, because it's been a few days since I did the readings. I believe that we were just using these. Um, let's see here. Okay. Oh yes. And the animal spirit. I'm glad I looked. All right. So let's take a look, Leo. Um, it's been a few days since I did the last Zodiac sign. Yeah. Temperance says you've been waiting a long time for this healing, Leo. Your commitment for a lot of people was really tested. Um, and you're going to end up having a victory. Okay. You're going to have your soulmate, your twin flame, your family, your justice, your balance. Um, and it was because you were broken open and some of you had to make a very difficult choice and find balance in between a couple things or more than one thing. While you got things figured out, you might have felt really stuck for a bit. Um, you might have really felt stuck, but you're going to start seeing things from a whole new perspective and things are going to get really amazing for the Leos out there. Yeah, it's like here we have another one. This like, you know, um, the uh, Eight of Swords. So we have a lot of, um, what did I say earlier? Oh, that came back out again. 
there's a lot of being bound, being caged, being trapped, being overburdened by um, something in love here. But it's like it is lifting, um, Leo. You're going to have, I feel like some of you Leos had or will have a tower moment, meaning an unexpected event that, that removes the foundation, that absolutely breaks you open um, and makes it so, it, and it can hurt, but it can also be very gratifying and it can bring you all of the joy and the love and the things that you deserve after the healing occurs and you got kind of get put back together. Let's take a look at your animal spirit messages before we wrap up your reading, Leo. I'm sorry for those of you that have gone through this where it's hurt so bad. I've been there. I've been in the broken open phase and sometimes I'm still not out of it. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, yeah, 54, skunk spirit, know your worth, Leo. So a lot of you have been settling for something that was not good for you. Um, and spirits here trying to say, know your worth, because this might break you open to go, but move past your fears, break the, the chains, okay? Um, let's take a look here. Yeah. You really need to do your own thing. Spirit's asking you, clear out the clutter, 28. You have a couple 28s here. This is interesting because broken open is 28 and clear out the clutter is 28. And this literally can mean like, I'm so hurt. I have to get rid of people. I have to get rid of things. I have to clean up my house. I have to purge. I have to clean up everything around me, including my vibration, because this is 10, 10. These are endings moving into a new beginning. Canary spirit, sing your own song. Um, be you this time your soulmate is going to love you so much for who you are leo so sing your own song and do what you have to do do what you have to do for you so you can be happy and have the uh, peace and happiness you deserve we have beaver spirit lay a solid foundation six a soulmate energy so i feel like it is saying you're laying a good foundation because when the pieces come down you have to put them back up and it's like remodeling an old house when you have the, all this stuff down like oh man this wiring shot this plumbing needs fixed all this is old and i can't put all this back together with all these old pieces and it tends to you tend to do that when you go back to an old relationship or something where when you haven't made any changes it's like trying to put an old house back together with the old plumbing the old wiring that doesn't even it's not even safe anymore so Right now, Spirit's saying, use this tower moment that's coming in here, okay? Use this tower moment to um, to rebuild with a solid foundation, laying a good foundation, putting the pieces back together after being broken open. So, um, so Leo, I hope you liked your reading. Um, I'm gonna just, I was just trying to see if anything else was wanting to come out for you here real quick. I kind of felt, oh, there's an animal spirit flipped upside down. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the lay a solid foundation. Um, some of you Leos have really scattered energy because there was a couple cards. There were two cards here that for some reason, like I'm looking at them and my mind is drawing a blank on the Roman numerals. I'm like lost. I think I read two cards the same, <laughs> um, but we have a lot of eights popping up and those remind me of infinity. Like this love that's coming around you, Leo is, has been in your life for an infinity. Like you don't even realize it possibly, um, past lives and everything else. And um, we have slow and steady wins the race. So remember that. Just take it nice and slow and easy as you lay this new foundation, as you pick up the pieces of being broken open. Thank you so much for being here, Leo. I hope you liked your reading. If you did um, and you want to connect with me on a more personal level, please check the description box on how you can get a reading of your own on your own personal situation. Thank you.